All right, what is going on YouTube? Fox here, welcome to you guys today with a brand new video. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Modern Warfare gameplay that we got uh, yesterday or two days ago. I'm not sure if this video is gonna come out on Friday or Saturday, but I hope you guys do enjoy. If you guys do, make sure you guys leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications, follow all my social medias down in the description below, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Twitch, all that good stuff, man. We're almost at 3,000 followers on Twitter, so that'd be greatly appreciated if you guys wanna stay up to date with all my content. We have a public Discord Discord server down in the description below as well a lot of good discussions over there if you guys want to support me even more as a content creator go over to gfield.com my code foxy is 30 percent off for all products we got a bunch of awesome flavors and shaker cups over there that you guys can grab and it's a huge discount it greatly benefits me as well so i do appreciate it if you guys go over and buy a starter pack or anything that supports me over on G Fuel by using my code. And if you guys have any questions about G Fuel, what flavors should you try, or what are the best flavors, or you know what should you start with? And if you have any questions about what's in G Fuel, ask me down in the comments. I'm more than willing to answer all of your questions and things like that. So without further ado, let's go, bros. I'm using the Remington without any attachments right now because I'm trying to get this red camo. It's like a red tiger slash like urban camo. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. <sighs> this is a sour blue chug rug for those of you that are wondering what flavor I'm drinking right now. Now this game is, I don't know, man. This game is, is something else. I'm not a huge fan of ghosts. Everyone kind of knows that, but there's leaning in this game. You know? Oh, wait. Press the hold and close the door. Apparently, you can do this in Modern Warfare as well. There's, like, doors you can open and garage, like, like garage doors you can open and things like that. Get out of here. And uh, there's, like, a, just a bunch of immersive type of stuff in the game, according to Drifter. I watched his video yesterday, and that's how I learned that. Now, the Modern Warfare gameplay that we saw yesterday. Let's, let's start with this. The game looks phenomenal. It looks so good as far as graphics go the graphics look insane and a couple people are gonna say oh it looked like shit well that was probably stream quality but i'm letting y'all know right now that game looked like the best call of duty game graphically that we've ever seen i'm down with really good graphics however i really hope it's not like this game where the graphics are too detailed to the point where i can't even see anybody in certain parts of the map where they blend in with the map too much and things like that and they were playing on a ps4 yesterday which is pretty mind-blowing in my opinion because you would think that the graphics look like they were on pc honestly and i said this while i was watching it yesterday this game looks like it was built for pc honestly the game looks like it was built for pc it's not a bad thing but it's definitely noticeable there was a lot of recoil on all the guns and things like that and we saw famas desert eagle all this insane shit we saw an m4a1 and if you watched any of the content creators we got a lot more info than what we were shown like i know that drifter said that there was a scar in the game that the um that there was the p90 oh i thought that was a guy holy shit uh the time to kill was really fast but let's talk about the movement because i've seen so many people talking about this and that's pretty much what everyone's talking about at the moment rightfully so i can understand why so the movement it's not like traditional call of duty and that could be a good thing and a bad thing personally i don't see the problem with it for the 2v2 mode and a lot of people were making their own assessment on the 2v2 mode as oh it's too slow oh it looks like rainbow six siege which i did say as soon as i saw courage and tp move i was like oh god holy shit it looks like rainbow it, the, the way that they move makes it look like rainbow that's not a deal breaker for me because this is a 2v2 mode there's no perks there's no kill streaks there's randomized classes for this mode it's not the full multiplayer so it's not something that i'm too worried about however i hope that the traditional multiplayer has like a mw2 call of duty 4 type feeling even mw3 honestly oh i will say it was a little odd watching the gameplay and watching it be so slow but at the same time I also said this, if you watch the gameplay from Courage's perspective, and this is no knock on Jack, but Jack was playing super slow, and rightfully so, I probably would too if I was playing, but if you watch TP's perspective, TP was running around the map and he was moving real fast, he was going at a faster pace than Jack was, and when I was watching TP's POV, I was like, oh yeah, okay, cool, I can see the Call of Duty influence in his movement now, like, I can see it, 
and it was really awesome. It was good. Like I liked it, to be honest, because especially when TP grabbed the M4A1, I was like, oh, okay, so this is what it's gonna be like, especially if you know it's a, it, we're moving real fast and things like that. I feel like people expected a lot more. I don't know why people expected that. We saw a lot of weapons, and that actually that kind of bothered me a little bit. I was like, why are we seeing so many weapons? Oh no way. Okay, did that kill him? No. no. Now he's dead. We saw a lot of weapons yesterday. That kind of frightened me, honestly. You know, because with Black Ops 4, and I know we shouldn't compare games like this, but I'm going to because it doesn't leave the element of surprise anymore. You know, and to me, that kind of sucks. <laughs> no, we saw about, I'd say 10 or tw 10 to 12 weapons yesterday. And then I learned about more weapons that are in the game from Drifter. Because if you watch Drifter's video, he tells everyone that there's more weapons than just what we saw. Camping on the fucking bridge thing. I don't know what it's called. Scavenger. Like with a shotgun, somebody kill the fucker. Really? Guy with a fucking shotgun killing all of us. That's low. Oh my god, they can't be in the kitchen now. By the back door. Kitchen, 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 kitchen! Somebody get the middle entrance. Don't go outside, don't go outside. That is bullshit, bro! What the fuck? What the fuck? That many bullets, bro. That many bullets and I didn't kill him? Wow! Three of them in one fucking spot! Wow! Unbelievable! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm gonna these people I hate them! Oh my lord! Dude! This dude! <laughs> fucking Alright, this map is fucking huge. It, this is like, whenever someone says Stonehaven, it's just like a huge meme because of how big the map is. It's it's gigantic. And it's not like Wasteland where it's a, it's a map that's big, but it's like a pretty good big map. Constructed like a COD map, which is like three or, lo or three or four lanes or so with multiple ways to go down those lanes or through those lanes and it flows and plays really well. No, it's like a battlefield map. That's that's what that's what Sto Stonehaven's like. Watch out, dude. Okay, yeah, this lag. If it could stop, that'd be great. I forget how big this map actually is. <laughs> and even in this map, bro, even in this map, it's kind of like this, this map can be kind of campy. Oh man. Slow paced map. Is it 6v6? Nah, it's 6v4. And even then, this is like a ground war map, if anything. <gasps> Couldn't even see him. Can't even see him. That's. Oh my god, this map is so bad. I like the multiple passageways that you can go through, but it's just. The, the map is just too damn big. Another guy. Fuck it. We'll take a chance. We'll run out in the open like an idiot. Nope, he did not. Thank God. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to snipe. Got him. It's not too bad. Nice. Sweet. Got an Elo pilot. Even though, even if it was at the end of the game. Fuck it, not too shabby. All right, we're on Strike Zone, AKA Dome from MW3. We've lost the lead. Oh, there's another guy. Got you. No. Nope. So the recoil in this game is insane. I was watching some of this and I was like, holy crap, dude. The recoil for some of these guns is pretty nutty, especially on that Deagle. It just looks pretty insane. And you know, that's a good thing. It really looks like a tactical COD game and it looks a lot more realistic and it looks like it plays a lot more realistic too, especially with the recoil and the movement and just everything that we saw yesterday it just looked a lot more tactical and that's okay i don't mind some tactical stuff but i will say that i would love it if they did have that classic call of duty feeling in the regular multiplayer and then the 2v2 mode kind of kept with a little bit more of a tactical feeling i saw a lot of people saying that they're oh man there's gonna be a lot of campers in the in the face-off modes but like those are super competitive modes it's like s and i mean yeah you're gonna run into campers but campers is in call of duty call of duty has campers that's just that's just the thing 
That's just a thing that happens in COD. But yeah, man, like the game looks good graphically. It looks like it plays kind of slow. But like I said, if you watch TP instead of watching Courage, you'll see how fast paced the game can be at its fullest potential. And that was really good in my opinion. I thought that was so good. When, when I started watching TV, I was like, holy shit, dude. Like, this, okay, so this is how it'll be. Well, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications. What do you guys think of the Modern Warfare gameplay that we saw? Honestly, I'm still on the fence about it, but I'm still excited to see the full multiplayer and see what they can give us. I think they'll pull it off. And if you don't like it, that's fine. You know, it, it is what it is. But I'm curious about the full multiplayer, not just this 2v2 mode, because I know the full multiplayer is what I'll be playing mainly. Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on all my social medias down in the description below. Use code FoxyGFill.com, 30% off your order. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.